Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe if you like the content. Biltong. Dried and cured meat, often beef, seasoned with spices and enjoyed as a savory snack. Biltong is a beloved and iconic Namibian snack made from dried and cured meat, typically beef, but other types of meat like game meats, e.g., kudu, springbok, or ostrich can also be used. Biltong is a favorite among locals and tourists alike and is known for its savory flavor and chewy texture. It's a popular snack for outdoor activities, road trips, and gatherings. Ingredients and preparation. Meat. High-quality cuts of meat, often lean beef, are used. The meat is cut into thin strips, usually against the grain to ensure tenderness. Spices. A mixture of spices like coriander, black pepper, salt, and sometimes additional seasonings are used to flavor the meat during the curing process. Vinegar or Worcestershire sauce. These liquids are sometimes used to help the spices adhere to the meat and add flavor. Curing. The meat is coated with the spice mixture and allowed to marinate for several hours or even overnight to absorb the flavors. Drying. After marinating, the meat strips are hung to air dry. The drying process can take several days, depending on factors like humidity and temperature. Varieties. There are different types of biltong, each with its own characteristics. Traditional biltong. This is the classic version, air-dried and seasoned with a mixture of spices. Snap sticks. Thin and small biltong sticks, often spicier and flavored. Chili bites. Spicy biltong with a kick of chili heat. Game biltong. Made from game meats like kudu, springbok, or ostrich, offering unique flavors. Serving and enjoyment. Biltong is often enjoyed as a snack, both on its own or paired with other foods. It's a favorite during outdoor activities like hiking, camping, or road trips, and it's commonly found in grocery stores, markets, and street stalls across Namibia. Nutritional value. Biltong is a protein-rich snack that's low in fat and carbs. It's a source of essential nutrients like iron and zinc, making it a convenient and flavorful option for those looking for a high-protein snack. Biltong is more than just a snack, it's a cultural symbol of Namibia and its culinary heritage. It embodies the practicality of preserving meat in a way that's not only delicious but also sustainable for nomadic and outdoor lifestyles. Kapana. Grilled and spiced meat skewers, usually sold by street vendors. Kapana is a popular street food in Namibia, especially in the capital city of Windhoek, and it's known for its simplicity, flavor, and social aspect. Kapana consists of grilled and spiced meat skewers, often sold by street vendors in bustling markets and busy street corners. It's a favorite among locals and visitors alike, offering a tasty and convenient snack or quick meal. Ingredients and Preparation Meat Various types of meat are used for kapana, including beef, chicken, and sometimes even sausage. The meat is often thinly sliced or cut into bite-sized pieces. Spices Kapana is flavored with a mixture of spices, which can vary from vendor to vendor. Common spices used include chili powder, paprika, cayenne pepper, garlic powder, and more. Salt. Salt is often used to season the meat and enhance its flavor. Grilling. The seasoned meat is typically grilled on an open flame or a hot griddle until it's cooked through and has a nice char. Accompaniments. Kapana is often served with various condiments, sauces, and toppings that add to the flavor and experience. Serving and enjoyment. Kapana is not just about the food, it's also about the social experience. People gather around Kapana vendors to enjoy freshly grilled meat, chat with friends, and take in the lively atmosphere of the street food scene. Vendors often encourage customers to choose their desired pieces of meat, which are then grilled to order. Condiments and toppings. Part of the enjoyment of kapana comes from the variety of condiments and toppings that are available to customize the flavor. Chili sauce. Spicy chili sauce or peri-peri sauce is a common choice for those who enjoy a kick of heat. Mustard. Tangy mustard adds a zesty flavor to the meat. Mayonnaise. Creamy mayo provides a contrasting texture and flavor. Pickles. Pickled vegetables or onions can add a refreshing crunch. Bread. Kapana is often enjoyed with a slice of bread, creating a simple and satisfying meat sandwich. Kapana is not just a snack. It's a social activity that brings people together over freshly grilled meat and lively conversations. It's a reflection of Namibia's vibrant street food culture and the sense of community that surrounds it. Borrower's roll. A traditional South African sausage called borrower's is often served in a roll with condiments. A borrower's roll 
is a delicious and popular street food commonly enjoyed in Namibia and South Africa. It features borrowers, a traditional South African sausage, served in a roll or bread along with various condiments and toppings. The combination of flavorful sausage, fresh bread, and a variety of sauces and vegetables makes the borrowers roll a beloved and satisfying street food option. Ingredients and Preparation Borrowers Borrowers is a coiled sausage made from a blend of meats, often including beef, pork, and sometimes game meats. It's seasoned with a mix of spices, including coriander, cloves, and nutmeg, giving it a distinctive taste. Roll or bread. A soft roll, often referred to as a hot dog bun, or a similar type of bread, is used to hold the sausage and other toppings. Toppings and condiments. Borrower's rolls are typically customized with a variety of toppings and sauces, which can include tomato and onion relish, a sweet and tangy tomato-based relish often mixed with onions, chutney, a fruity sauce that adds a touch of sweetness and flavor. Mustard. Tangy and zesty mustard complements the sausage's richness. Mayonnaise. Creamy mayo adds a smooth texture and flavor. Pickles. Pickled vegetables like cucumbers or onions can provide crunch and tanginess. Sliced tomato and onion. Fresh tomato and onion slices add a burst of freshness. Lettuce. Crisp lettuce leaves contribute a refreshing element. Serving and enjoyment. Borrower's rolls are often sold by street vendors, at sports events, and in markets. They're a popular choice for a quick, satisfying meal or snack on the go. The combination of a flavorful sausage, bread, and a mix of condiments creates a harmonious blend of textures and tastes. Cultural significance. The borrower's roll is more than just a street food, it's a cultural icon. Borrower's itself is deeply rooted in South African and Namibian culinary heritage. The combination of borrowers in a roll reflects the fusion of different culinary influences and the love of hearty, flavorful foods. Whether enjoyed at a street corner, a market, or a social event, the borrower's roll captures the essence of South African and Namibian street food culture, offering a delicious and satisfying experience that's cherished by locals and travelers alike. Kalahari Truffles Edible Desert Truffles with a Unique Earthy Flavor Kalahari truffles, also known as Kalahari desert truffles or desert truffles, are a unique and sought-after culinary delicacy found in the arid regions of southern Africa, including Namibia. These truffles are distinct from the well-known fungal truffles found in forests. They are actually tubers that grow underground in the desert sands. Characteristics and harvesting. Kalahari truffles have several notable features. Appearance. These truffles have a rough, warty exterior, and their appearance can vary in color from pale beige to reddish brown. Aroma. Kalahari truffles emit a strong and earthy aroma that becomes more pronounced as they mature underground. Habitat. They are typically found in the sandy soils of arid and semi-arid areas, often in desert regions like the Kalahari Desert. Harvesting. The truffles are typically harvested by local foragers who have knowledge of their locations. They are carefully dug out of the sand using specialized tools. Culinary uses. Kalahari truffles are prized for their unique flavor and texture. While they are not true fungi like traditional truffles, they are still highly regarded in local cuisines and have gained attention from chefs and food enthusiasts around the world. Preparation. Kalahari truffles are traditionally prepared and enjoyed in various ways. Fresh. They can be eaten raw, often sliced thinly and added to salads or used as a garnish for various dishes. Cooked. They can be cooked in stews, soups, or sauces to infuse their distinctive flavor into the dish. Drying. Some truffles are dried to preserve them and intensify their flavors. Dried truffles can be ground into a powder and used as a seasoning. Oil or butter infusion. Kalahari truffles can be used to flavor oils or butters, creating a unique and aromatic ingredient for cooking. Cultural and culinary significance. Kalahari truffles have cultural and economic importance for local communities in southern Africa. They are not only a culinary delicacy but also a source of income for foragers who collect and sell them. The truffles also play a role in traditional healing practices. The distinctive and earthy flavor of Kalahari truffles adds a unique touch to dishes and provides a connection to the desert landscapes they come from. While relatively lesser known compared to other gourmet ingredients, they offer a taste of the culinary diversity and resourcefulness found in the arid regions of Namibia and surrounding areas. Kudu or Oryx Burger Burgers made from game meats like kudu or oryx, often enjoyed for their unique flavor. A kudu burger, or oryx burger, 
is a unique and flavorful culinary creation that often reflects the game-rich environments of countries like Namibia and South Africa. Both kudu and oryx are types of antelope found in these regions, and their lean and richly flavored meat is used to create these distinctive burgers. Ingredients and Preparation Kudu or oryx meat The meat from kudu or oryx is lean and has a unique gamey flavor. It's ground to make burger patties. Spices and Seasonings Depending on personal preferences and regional variations, the burger patties can be seasoned with a mixture of herbs, spices, and perhaps a touch of salt and pepper. Buns. Soft hamburger buns are used to hold the burger and its toppings. Toppings. Like any burger, kudu or oryx burgers can be customized with a range of toppings, such as lettuce, tomato, onion, cheese, pickles, and sauces. Cooking the patties. Kudu and oryx meat is lean, so it's important to avoid overcooking to prevent it from becoming tough and dry. Here's a general approach. Preheat grill or pan. Preheat a grill or pan to medium-high heat. Grill or pan fry. Cook the burger patties for a few minutes on each side. The exact cooking time will depend on the thickness of the patties and personal preference for doneness. Aim to cook them to medium rare or medium for the best flavor and texture. Resting. Allow the cooked patties to rest for a few minutes before assembling the burgers. This helps retain their juiciness. Assembling the burger. Bun. Place the cooked patty on the bottom half of the hamburger bun. Toppings. Layer your choice of toppings on top of the patty. Common choices include lettuce, tomato, onion, cheese, and pickles. Sauces. Add condiments and sauces like ketchup, mayonnaise, mustard, or specialty sauces that complement the gamey flavor of the meat. Top bun. Place the top half of the bun over the toppings to complete the burger. Enjoyment. Kudu or Oryx burgers offer a unique and flavorful taste that reflects the wild landscapes of the region. The lean and gamey meat provides a distinctive alternative to traditional beef burgers. These burgers are often enjoyed at restaurants, lodges, and game reserves in Namibia and other southern African countries, providing a culinary experience that's both delicious and representative of the local wildlife.